Hello everybody and welcome to Train Simulator 2013 with Tristan Buffalo and Eddie Vidi. Yo, check it, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, four. He sounds very unenthusiastic. Oh, and singing. But anyway, we are back on the London to Brighton route and we are going to be taking the Dwight D. Eisenhower locomotive from London to Brighton as fast as we can. And if you've been here before, you would have remembered I tried to do this with the mallard and failed badly because I took yes, like yes, did. forever. But since then, I have learnt how to make the steam trains do. So hopefully, I'm hoping we should be able to get there in about half an hour. I believe there's a time I'm aiming for. Okay, good, good, good. Aiming for about half an hour. Okay, show us how it's done. Oh, I will. You, you're going to be looking forward to this. And anyway, in the meantime, I have some even more news to announce. In case you can't already tell, I have purchased myself a brand new microphone. So now we should both sound pretty good. Like you were sounding alright before, but now there's a new level of goodness. Excellent, excellent. I'm sure you sound excellent, but Skype's like slaughtering your sound quality. And making you sound rubbish. <laughs> yes. The Skype. The killer of worlds. Mm. <laughs> so yes, we've already reached 28 miles per hour. We're pulling out of London, Victoria. And I'm going along. I've, this one seems to have the pressure gauge working, so I'm actually able to keep an eye on that properly for the time being. Which is a problem I've had before, because the big boy one didn't seem to be working. No, it didn't last time. That was really weird. And, uh, yeah, keep water and coal above 90% as best as I can, so I normally leave coal on for most of it and turn water on and off every now and again and try and make sure my pressure keeps rising. So I've got to make sure brakes are in the running position because apparently when they're fully on, you're wasting steam keeping the brakes fully open when they don't need to be fully open in order for the train to reach the full speed. If that makes any sense to you, it's okay, more power. Not not much to me. No, well you we should you we should play. Look at this train, it's green instead of blue. That's the only reason why I chose it, because we've done a blue one, so I thought we should do one of the green trains <laughs> instead. <laughs> Just to add a bit of variety. Yeah. Unless you're colour blind and then they look the same. Yeah, and but I have no idea who this Dwight D. Eisenhower is. Oh. It is a person. Let's have a Google. It is a person, yes. I think, I think I'll reach my PSI limits. Isn't he a president? Mm, maybe. American people, you can probably Let's yeah. Get the boiler, cold there... water, all sorted, ready yeah. for the speed run. The clock he starts was... at Clapham Junction. Oh, okay. He was the 34th president from 1953 until 1961. Yeah. He must have been around when the train was being made. Then he must have had something. There's a slight downhill bit before Clapham Junction, so we're going to use that to try and build up as much speed as we possibly can. I found the Wikipedia page about the Dwight D. Eisenhower train. Excellent. Anything exciting that we should know? We are, I mean, we are driving it after all. Hey, I've just loaded it up. So give me a minute to read through and I might come back with something. Yeah, okay. Anyway, th this is much smaller than the big boy. That could hold 25 tons of coal. This can only Ooh. hold 7 tons of coal. What? Hang on, it was renamed Dwight D. Eisenhower tilting. before the president was the president. What? Maybe he had something to do with the making of the trains. Maybe he was important. Maybe, but it said he was a... Uh, well, he was a general in the US Army, so he must have been pretty big to have a thing called after him. Yeah. He must have been, yeah, well known enough. Hmm. Oh, this is a cool view. Ah, oh, I saw that as we tilted into Clapham Junction. I'm sort of leaning out the side of the carriage. The clock starts now. Open up and let's show these southerners what a London North East thoroughbred can do. We're currently doing nearly 80 miles an hour in a no. 60 zone. So a bit oh. faster than we were doing before. It's a speed test, isn't it? So yes. Learn as fast as possible. They don't Apparently, care. we're supposed to watch out for one curve somewhere along here, but I didn't encounter any problems with it last time. So I'm assuming everything's fine. Okay, I can turn the water pump off. And you say that, need to build. but it normally always ends badly. But it won't this time, trust me. 
Yeah. I've got everything worked out. Ah, uh, you're typing this, you're typing this, you're typing this. Sorry. Anyway, I don't know if I... Streaming? Pardon? Oh yeah, dudes. Because we're close to a thousand subscribers, we were planning big live stream thingamajig. For that time when we do hit a thousand of you awesome people. Um, but yeah, so we are going for the 17th of August to the 18th. I'm not sure what hours we're going to do this, dude, but we're going to just stream. James mm. is coming around and we're going to set right, his computer, computer up and yeah. take over the entirety of my room, so I'm not sure we're actually going to be able to sleep anywhere. But There's, there's going to be more computers than bed space. The room is going to be, like, on fire as well. I yeah, know, <laughs> we might have windows open all night. I normally have the windows open all night, and we're it's gonna real need, warm. <laughs> we're going to need some aircon. I mean, my thing does generate a ton of heat, especially in weather like this. It's decided to get kind of heat wavy again. It's yes, to today the hottest is day of the year. Yes, and I decided I would cycle to the gym at about half twelve today. Not a smart move, but oh. it was okay. I love that view when you're looking behind the train and you can see the rest of the train coming around the curve, which is really cool. Oh look, it is following me. Good, good, good. Yep. I haven't accidentally detached him. We're doing 93 miles an hour. Good. In good. the 70 zone, so we are getting up decent speeds. I'm How fast do you reckon we're going to get to? I got to 119 on the Mallard, so I'm hoping for, I'm hoping to break 120 mark, if I'm lucky. But I don't know if this train has any different performance to the Mallard train or not. I'm not sure quite how they're supposed to work. Should we see if there's a high speed for this? Quite yeah. Now we're trying. Because I did have a competition to see who could sort of do this kind of section the fastest. The fastest, yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's no speed on there. Maybe. I think the top speed was 140. They, oh yeah, they announced the winners back at the end of June on their Facebook page. I think the top speed was about 140 something, which mm -hmm. is pretty impressive. I think. Pretty impressive. Wait, how many A4s are did you do you get in the DLC? Uh you get six different ones in the DLC. So they are they are the six surviving ones. There was yeah. only thirty five made and only six survive, and I assume those six are the ones Yeah. That you get. Which is very cool. Hmm. I'm we not should go to the we should go to the Rail Museum in New York. <laughs> Quite should. a long way away, but... Make a video about it. But exactly, but trains. I'm not sure if the six in-game difference performance-wise, if that makes sense. Yeah, I've got no idea. Um, see if I can find some details. Typey, 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 typey. Beep, 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 beep. 93 miles an hour again. And uphill slightly as well, even up a slight incline. Nice, 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 so, nice, nice. Not too bad at all. Oh, is there a oh. bit where you go down as well, or not? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Try and pick up speeds in the nice downhill sections. Don't think we've got any for the time being, it's fairly flat ahead. We've got a 45 mile an hour zone and a 60 mile an hour zone right after it, so I think that might be where the curve is, so I'm going to check on the map. Oh uh, yeah, we have quite a sharp curve coming up ahead. Let's just assume everything's going to be fine and keep going, shall we? Oh, I'm sure that's going to end very well. Has that ever gone wrong for us in the past? No. 97.8 miles an hour. Getting close. And my pressure's going up still as well. And I forgot to get water. No, 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 no. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> so, we, did it go wrong? We, we went off around that corner. The one that we were meant to be keeping an eye out for. Yes. Yes, indeed. Okay, well, we'll know for next time. Poor me. Okay, hello, and... <laughs> thank you for that, and we are back. And as you can see, we're just about to approach that curb where I failed last time. So, I'm going to start to apply some brakes. I think we're going to go full emergency brakes for this because I 
On my second attempt, I reached over 100 miles an hour, and I definitely won't be able to survive at that speed on this train. So wow. there we go. We're going at a more reasonable 60-ish miles an hour now. So we can hopefully get around this corner nice and safely, and then we can continue along to Brighton at full speed. I believe that's the only corner we need to worry about along this route. Hopefully. Yeah, let's just get Oh, yo, bro! Let's get through this station here. Do I need to mic? I hear background I'll people! Leave it turned on. <laughs> and continue. And continue. Right, well, we seem to be almost at the danger area. Um, one more bend to go. Okay, now I can go up again to 60 miles per hour. So, along to Brighton we go. <laughs> exactly, 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 exactly. Anyway, I haven't checked out what the inside of this train is like yet, so let's do that. Do it. Go. Ooh. The carriage is the bike. It's exactly the same as the uh, mallard was. Ah. With the corridor along the side, and then you have the individual cubicles of... Um, six seats which is quite cool and a picture of a train on the wall just in case you forget where you are shame it's not a picture of a boat that would be really confusing in ship simulator that the boats have pictures of boats on them I don't think there's any pictures at all oh, well, I can oh, yeah. oh. I need to put brakes back into running modes save a little bit extra power and we've yes. reached 70 miles an hour again Go, go, go. So you can get up to 100 again. I hope so. I hope that wasn't just a fluke and I missed it when I wasn't recording. But trust <laughs> me, it did happen, everyone. It did. I wouldn't lie to you. I can look back again at my train coming around the corner. It's all still attached. Anyway, it says we've got 37 miles to go until Preston Park 3, which is where they'll take our time from. And then hopefully we can... You're going to slow down again, aren't you? Yeah, uh, once we reach this Preston Park 3 in 37 miles, I think we have to slow down almost instantly, because apparently the barriers are very, very close, as in it takes speed, and then you have to slow down as fast as you can and stop safely at Brighton. Because I remember we didn't do that last time to celebrate me failing. Yeah, and then straight through. <laughs> yeah, straight through indeed. But no, we'll stop this time and make it nice and safe. And I finally got around to buying F1 2012. Well done, dude. I well found done. It. I found it for £5 a game, but when I went there today, they were out of stock. So I bought it from Amazon for £8, which was the second lowest price I could find. Expect co-op videos possibly coming soon. soon. We, will probably, we will probably play on the live stream. We probably will. They'll end up on YouTube. If our sub count freezes at 999, do we then not do the stream? We do it. And then we we do it. No, we record it. Yeah. And then when we hit a thousand, then we like play the video file we made. You broadcast the video <laughs> file live. The video file. <laughs> That's a bit cheaty, isn't it? No, no one would ever know. Yo. No, for lunch and dinner breaks, I think we just put a train simulator video on. One of our old ones. Does it take us that long to have lunch? Yeah, 20 minutes. Well, okay, dinner. Mm. We just ring up the Domino's guy and then eat whilst playing. We, we can't. I wish we could order Domino's, but yeah. I live too far away from any takeaway places. My. Yeah. My, my, my. Oh well, we'll sort something out. Okay, we're approaching another steep hill. So, I hope we have enough power and pressure to keep our speed up the hill. And then hopefully at the top, we'll get the downhill bot on the other side where we can hopefully reach 100 miles an hour because I'm stuck on 94 for the time being. No! I will be happy if I can reach 100 the second time. 135 PSI we've got. Apparently we want to try and keep it above 200. And at 250, apparently that's when the pressure valve releases, so then it will go back down. 
Cool. So that just slows us down. I think it was 20. Was... Okay, yeah, we are struggling up this hill. We're just going to have to... Oh, yeah, I kept the water pump on. When it reached 100%, it wasn't supposed to be that. And I've just kept the coal on the whole time because that oh, seems to me... Cool. It seems to make very little difference to the amount of pressure and it means you just want have one less thing to worry about. Yeah, how much, um, you know, this stuff? Coal. Yeah, have you got left? I've got just over seven tons of coal left. So you used... Yeah, oh. used half a ton, almost. Oh. And I've got... So the boy I've got five, five, tons. five, eight gallons of water left. Which is a lot of water. Yeah. Ooh, we're in a tunnel. I'm sure my guy's head would have been knocked off in real life if he was sticking it out the window when we went through the tunnel. <laughs> and there we go. Ooh, I know what the difference is. When I did this in the Mallard, wasn't it winter? Yeah, it was winter, wasn't it? It was snowy, I seem to remember. Yes, it. yeah. This is different. Oh, yeah, we're now on the downhill straight. So we're now picking up speed. 97.6 miles per hour. Let's hope we can reach 100 before the... Before the end. Before it flattens out, yeah. I don't know if I can risk taking this down any low. That must be dropping. Let's try 16. 99. 99.1. 99.2. Okay, the pressure relief valve is releasing itself again. That's not me using too much pressure, so... Good, 99.6, 99.7. Ready? There we go, 100 miles an hour. I wasn't lying, people. Good, 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 good. I wasn't lying. And now I need to pump some more water again so our pressure's going to drop. But I hope I can finish pumping the water before the pressure drops too much. It's very complicated being a steam driver. Train driver. Well, yeah, steam train driver more so than regular because regular is just forward, back with one lever almost and this you've got to keep an eye on the pressure and do the coal and you know yeah, all the other complicated bits and bobs ooh, 102 miles an hour I should get you to do a um, video of this yeah, because so I, I can have a go, can't I? And, <laughs> and you will laugh at me and we get a chance to look at Eddie no no, and we'll even have webcams running. Oh, oh good. No. That would be, <laughs> be bad. 106 incredible. miles an hour. I have also bought yeah. an adapter for my wireless Xbox controller, so I'll be able to awesome. use that for, for gaming. F1. Well, yeah, for it's that. really good for F1. Battlefield and whatever oh, else we can play today. We must do some Battlefield. Oh. Yes, because we were going to play that months ago, and then we never did. We never did. Okay, I've dropped now to 104 miles per hour. But whilst my pressure's up, I'm going to slip that into 25 and see if we can get an extra few miles an hour out of this bad boy. 